Hi everyone, I'm Colleen. I'm in charge of visitor services up here. We're about to go into the historic home of Sam Maloof, so welcome. This is the original home. It was moved because of the expansion of the 210 freeway um, as an architectural and engineering wonder that it was actually modeled after. Uh, uh, so it was divided into seven pieces. We had to put it on flatbed trucks, moved up here in the dead of night. And, you know, Stan probably can tell you about that. Yeah. But it was put back piece by piece and in the exact order. Even Sam was so particular, some of the rocks and trees were even moved alongside so that he could reconstruct this. It was so important to him. I don't know what's more impressive, the actual house itself or the fact that you moved it. I mean, bo both are yeah. it's just it's a, a wonder. So wonder that, as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this is all hand built by Sam, room by room, as he could afford it. He was very frugal, uh, did not start with, with a lot of money. So you will see telephone poles, you'll see these bridge washers, and it becomes a decorative feature, a design feature, as you repeat these elements. Very linear, very indoor-outdoor aspect to it. Yep. styles come around and go around and you were talking about the bridge watchers you know they they gain popularity then they fall off and they come back so everything everything goes full circle you know yeah and very small as i said it was originally the house was just this this area right here that we're looking at uh the bricks sometimes you can hear them sam called these his singing bricks so they're never grouted down and he and he loved that so that it, the house always spoke to him that's nice. <laughs> Look at that door, beautiful. Look at the hardware on that door. That? Every door, every handle, every latch is different and unique. Sam built all of them. He even poured the glass. Wow. Maybe you're a wood guy. I'm not a big wood guy, but it still impresses me. I love looking mm -hmm. at it. And everywhere you look, there's something, you know, there's something to look at in every yeah. nook and cranny, which is cool. So then as he had more money, uh, he expanded. This was his wife's mother-in-law's rooms here. She came and lived with him for a time being. He was kind of a short guy, wasn't he? He was. I could touch my head in this door, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah, indeed. As we take people through this house, we always have to remind them to duck their head. Yeah. Sometimes you come down, you'll also see outlets that are in weird places because we didn't have to be coated quite so much. Right, right, right. Yeah. The archways are also another uh, design element, the sticks and stones that we like to call these. Mm -hmm. um, and so those are some of Sam's signature things, as well as all of his lovely furniture. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you look at this piece as it evolved into this piece, mm -hmm. um, that's what when you come and tour here, your docent will explain all of that to you based on Sam's aesthetic, as well as what kind of tools he could afford. Okay. And so that's why it changed. He was always designing, always designing in his head. He has what they consider a 3D mind. And so he could see it. All right. So. He's a walking Fusion 360. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have a whole upstairs as well. I don't know if you guys want to go up there. So. As he said, no, gotta actually, uh, I have to limit you a little bit. Yeah, that's so. fine. Let's let, let the uh, let's let the, what we've seen speak for itself. You know, this is just awesome. Okay, I'm gonna uh, walk you, you guys. Want to tour this place? Uh, make sure you sign up on the 21st. The house on the rock. You get a quick shot of one of Sam's first chairs, and then this cradle, which was at the height of his popularity, and then the final chair that he made when he was 93 years old. Um, considered a prototype that he made with Mike Johnson that continues the woodworking today up here. Mike is the only one that's allowed to reproduce or to make uh, Sam Maloof furniture. And so that's an important aspect. We are continuing to be a working wood, wood shop. Uh -huh. uh, he takes commissions, he's quite busy. And so we are all working together up here. Now you've got the largest collection of Sam Maloof furniture right here sure. in mm -hmm. the world. Absolutely. Amazing. Yeah. His work can be found in the Smithsonian, in the White House, in, in various collections. Mm -hmm. um, so. I'll do that. So the spiral staircase is one of the more iconic pieces. Uh, 
It's made with abaton wood, which is just like shipping crepe wood and, and it's inexpensive. Sam would always think about the cost. Um, it's very durable. So for the, where your feet go, that's abaton. The walnut railing comes down. And then again, he would carve it by hand, carve the jewel. Uh, it has a steel post running through it. And I know it took over a hundred clamps to make that. My bad. <laughs> And that just fortifies the old saying, you can never have too many clams. <laughs> Sam was the first craftsman to be awarded the MacArthur Genius Grant. We're very proud of that. It made a huge change in his life. It comes with the prestige, obviously, but also a substantial money grant. Um, so in the mid 80s, that was a big turning point. And uh, he was able to then, instead of just always worrying about making money, go more into design. So what we're gonna do real quick is just uh, step inside the original wood shop, working shop of Sam Maloof. Mike Johnson is the one that runs the shop now with his son, Stephen. His wife, Joanne, works in the office. Uh, they're the only ones that are allowed to continue with the original Maloof patterns. So when you go in there, you see all of the original patterns. Um, Sam's writing is on them. It's just wonderful to see that. Okay. You have some interesting things to look at. Yeah, so this is Mike Johnson. He runs the Maloof uh, Woodworking Shop, the only one that's allowed to read, to do the Maloof. You say it right. <laughs> <laughs> we were given the exclusive licensing agreement to recreate Maloof furniture. And uh, we work here uh, on a much more scaled back operation than it was when Sam was living. But uh, it's now myself and my son, and my wife is now our business manager. So I never dreamed it would be a family affair, but here we are. <laughs> That's nice. That's Thank you for taking a moment. Oh, you're yeah, quite welcome. It. Yeah, you, you're quite welcome. I can tell you got glitter all over you. You're, you're, you're ready to go back to work. <laughs> well, this Thank is you, the Mike. Way I look all the time. So. <laughs> we always tell him he should sell his honest. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. We really appreciate the staff at the Malou Foundation taking time out of their busy day, letting us in here when they're closed to do a little bit of a tour. Normally they don't let anybody do any photography or video here, so this is just a treat for us. So we wanted to give it to you guys, a little bit of a teaser. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about the Malou Foundation, you can go to www.malouffoundation.org that's malouffoundation.org. You can learn about becoming a member, you can learn about uh, making donations and learn a little bit more about it. Even if you're not into woodworking, this is a cool place. I mean, this has been just a, just a dream of mine because I am into woodworking, so it was just great. Um, I also want to mention Barzy Bash that's coming up in June. So on the 21st of June, Bar Z is arranged for 30 people to be able to tour this facility. So it's $25 a person and uh, you'll send, you'll contact Stan at, what is it Stan? Summer Bash at Bar Z. Summer Bash at Bar Z Industrial.com. Industrial Limited again to 30 people, $25 a person. It starts at 10 o'clock in the morning. So if you're going to be out here, it goes till noon. So it's a two hour tour. You guys definitely want to check this out. And hopefully the little bit that we got for you guys is a little bit of a teaser. It'll, you know, press you guys to come out here. Even if you're not out here for the bash, you just happen to be in California or Rancho Cucamonga, come on out and check it out. It's just amazing. So thanks again, guys, for tuning in. This is Chris from American Rotary. Thanks for buying American Made.